Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's Air Display, some Legos and stop animation. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin, this is iPads in the Classroom, and today we're going to talk about a few different things, and I want to start with an app called Air Display. Now, Air Display is an app that actually costs $9.99, at least right now as I'm speaking to you, and I just recently got it, and what it does is it makes the iPad an extra screen for a PC or for a Mac. So Air Display, what it does is it really allows you to see either the same screen or to have it as an added screen. So right now it's running as the same screen as my desktop. So I can see it on two screens, but even better is when I change it and it actually becomes a second screen. So I can move one file. Let's say I can move my notes right now to this screen. And now my main laptop screen can hold a different document that I'm actually editing. If you need a second screen and you don't want to go to the expense of buying a second one and you want it to be mobile with you just like your laptop, this is probably your best bet. Um, so, air display. Now I want to get into Legos. And the reason I want to get into Legos besides the fact that I really do like Legos, is that Legos have found their way into schools in very interesting ways. Uh, they're very good for modeling, you can do a lot of interesting things in math with them, um, and a lot of the focus on engineering and robotics have gone through using Lego kits of different kinds. So the first Lego app that I want to show you is called Duplo Jams. Duplo is for younger students or younger kids. And in this case, this app is also for younger kids. And it does a lot of interesting things for younger kids. I would say preschool, maybe kindergarten. It does address certain skills. So if, for example, you, you walk into this app, the so there's music. And music I like, actually. This is my kind of music. And there's a matching game, so you can find the pairs. And when that is done, you get a building task. So you can build with it. And then it goes to the next task and you do that. And with each song in this set, uh, with each song you have different tasks and different things to learn. Again, this is the preschool kindergarten level. Uh, what I like about it is the songs are fantastic. It's free and it does very few things, but it does them extremely well. Connect them to the Lego and the building and all of that creative work that we would like them to do with the actual bricks. So this is called Duplo Jams, and it's something definitely worth looking at if you're working in an earlier uh, education uh, placement. Now, the next one that I want to look at is what is called Hero Factory. And in Hero Factory, what you're actually getting, and you don't have to sign up for it, but what you're actually getting are comics that talk about the Lego characters from the Hero Factory. So um, here is Hero Factory 2, and it downloads, and it keeps asking you to log in, but you don't have to. And then as you get this on the machine, you can actually read this. This is exceptionally good for capable but reluctant readers. We have some of our students who are perfectly fine reading, they just choose not to, and this is the perfect kind of thing for him, them because comics have somewhat limited text, a lot of action, which is always great, and it has exceptional vocabulary, and I've talked about this before, but the vocabulary you can find in a, in a comic is usually, in a comic book, is usually a, really sophisticated uh, vocabulary that is worth uh, really practicing. So I go to my comics and, it, and I read it. And you can scroll through the pages, but you can see that it's still hard to read. 
Um, I can read it, but it's hard to focus. So what you can do is you can actually, as you tap, each panel shows up separately. And because each panel shows up separately, you can actually see much better each one of the panels and read them carefully. And now what you see is exactly the effect I was talking about. There's not an overwhelming amount of text, but the text is actually quite sophisticated. So in this case, it's mission briefing attack reported on the future site of penitentiary. And so you can see just how complex the vocabulary is and how exciting with the, for, with the pictures everything is. And again, you can switch between the panels just with your finger or you can zoom out and see the whole page if you would uh, like to do that as well. This actually allows them to read a comic book and enjoy it because it helps focus their attention on one piece at a time, on one set of text at a time. So this is again Hero Factory. Uh, one of the things that a lot of kids do with Lego as uh, they mature and as more opportunities open up on the web is actually create stop animation that uses the Lego characters and the Lego settings to create short movies. And if you've never seen those, go online and do a short search on YouTube for uh, Lego, Lego animation. There's a lot of Star Wars Legos and all of that. And what you can see is kids have spent an inordinate amount of time recreating scenes and creating new stories with those characters because they have access to this. On the iPad, you can have the ability to create those and actually there are some free apps that do that very, very well. And this is iMotion HD and iMotion again allows you to create a movie and so you press new movie, it's fairly easy, right? And this is time lapse and you press start. And again, you see the scene that is in front of the camera and you can change the options of the, uh, how you take the pictures. And you can start. So, so you, now you can see the movie that we've created very quickly. And this one was an automated, so it took a picture every second. And that way we could create, you can also control the speed of the film. So I can slow it down or I can speed it up depending on the frequency I want. So this is one frame per second, which is very slow. And I can speed it up to 12 frames per second and I can make it faster and then obviously you can export the movie. So that is called iMotion HD and it's a fantastic way to create stop animation. The last app I want to talk about is not connected to Lego, it's not connected to stop animation, but it is an app that I found recently and I think that is very exciting and it's an indication of where apps are going. This is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in San Francisco and this is a, based on an exhibition called Beyond Bell and it's all about arms and armor, something a lot of uh, students really find interesting. And these are historical artifacts that allow kids to explore this very specific thing. In this app, for example, in Beyond Bell, there's an intro and the appropriate music. and it talks about what's out there, what questions come up. Then there are a lot of photos from the actual exhibition. How, what do these things look like? So you can see what an armor looks like and the timing and then additional information about it, which is quite extensive. So there's again that layering of information that is not thrown all at the student, but actually slowly weaved in and there's a set of quizzes that ask you questions. So after you explore, you can examine how well you understand and how well you've learned the pieces about armor and arms. So this specific 
app, I think, is part of a class of apps that are now created by museums and different organizations for very specific purposes. And if you have a unit around these things, it's fantastic to include that. If you have students focusing research, it's one source of many that you want them to include. So this is called Beyond BAL. I'm Guy Training. This is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge, and we'll see you next time.